hi friends welcome back to angular code application series so we have completed the add list edit delete so if you check my playlist you can see there is about 10 videos so basically this is the 11 video so here i just want to set up the data tables so you can see there are few records so if there is more records i want a pagination so how we can do the pagination so how we can add the pagination inside your angular application okay. so all are ready so now we need to just add some comments to install the data tables so just go to the terminal and just create another tab and just few steps so here are all the steps and i will provide these steps also to you inside the description section so just install these things so first install the jquery so jquery is installed now the install data tables dot net and now it started installation so i will just skip the installation process i just show you the full comments and you can install at your own so for now i am just installing and just paste this right and the next things is angular data tables so we all need these things so basically this is a step to install and after that we need to set up into our application right and the next npm install type jquery and then the data tables .net, right so at the types data .net. So after installation i will add this so all are installed and the last thing we need to install the boost app though we have installed the boost app but i am still going to install these things also right so so all are installed now restart the server once so just end the serve again and it's starting the server right so application started so now refresh this so no error so now if you just go to the node modules so here you can see the data tables so if the installation is successfully done then we will get a folder name the data table so just go inside the data table so data tables dot net and data tables dot net right so there is dot net and there is dot net dot dt right so data is installed now we need to use this inside your angular json file so just go here and there is a style section and the script section so just include these things so just go here so here just write the data table css and just use the data table scripts also so i am copying just from top to bottom so all the things and also the bootstrap right so just add this so all are added so now i want to show these data tables to here right so just go to the specific component so src app and i created the components folder for all components so just inside the component there is a list to end component so i am just opening the ts file and the html file right and i need to register the data table into the app module dot ts okay so just go here and just include the data table so write import and inside here just write from and here write angular data tables right and here just write data table modules right data table modules okay so data table imported now just use this into the import section so use this right so the things are done into the app module.ts so i just removing this and also i don't need angular.json so i am just removing this now we need to go to the list student component.ts file and here i will use the data table okay so here i will just create a property 
that is readable property that is dt options and here just to work call the data tables dot settings right and we'll initialize by default as a blank object right and we'll use these dt options to manage the settings so write this dot data tables sorry data options equal to the options right so here i will set the paging type so basically the paging type will be the full numbers so write full numbers and the next things the page length so here i will use the page length so this is five and the processing so the processing is true so we can set any others property also so this is the default property so here we will use the data options inside the listing page so right here the data options equal to the data options so this is the property right so here there will be not column so this will be and we will write here the data tables okay now if you just go to the browser sorry there is error so what is the error okay so just go to the visual studio code and that will be the data table right so we can see the data tables appear so there is 10 25 50 100 so actually we have not set the length also so we can set the menu so there is uh, suppose um, right here the menu so just to write here length menu so the menu can be start from anywhere you can set your custom menu so for now just write 5 10 15 50 whatever actually we are setting the page length as 5 but we are not setting the length menu and this is the default menu that is that from 10 it is showing so i am just overriding the length menu from the default menu so here you can see the menu is appearing but all the things are not appearing because sometimes we need to restart the server so just restart and let's see what happened so it's restarting okay so restart it now refresh this so we can see the one to five of seven records actually we have seven records and we can go to the next page right and we can search from anywhere suppose i am searching david so we are getting the result right and we can change the length of the page that is i want to see the 10 items at a time so we can change right so this is the simple relatable example and you can do this easily so we need to use some so we need to use some steps so this is the things we need to install and there is the styles and scripts so i will provide these things to the description section also and i will upload this project into the github so you can download from here also right so if you have any questions about this video please comment in a below comment section so next we are going to create the registration section so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye